Welcome back everybody, this is Eric and Chad here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Uh, today we've got a special gun gripe for you. Um, I know we try to kind of spread these videos out a little bit, but we thought we'd kind of make an emergency kind of last minute gun gripe. Uh, we're going to try to get up today. It's in regards to all the stuff that's going on with HR 38, uh, the carry reciprocity bill uh, that's uh, gaining some good momentum. Uh, we have a mole in our midst. Uh, the uh, 4477, I believe. More like a thorn in the side. More of like a thorn. Press I think it's, it's 4477, which yeah. is the uh, fix nix, is, is apparently being rolled in with HR 38. And that's something we have to really, really be mindful of. Uh, that could happen literally as soon as today. So it's very important that people contact all the reps and uh, express their extreme disgust uh, in such an act because. It's really unfair because what, what's basically happening is they're, they're trying to play just typical old dirty pool when it comes to this just dirty old crooked Washington politics. And they're trying to get an anti-gun piece of legislation rolled in with a pro-gun piece of legislation. So the thing is, people won't vote for the entire package because they don't want to get the fix nixed uh, in there. And then by, by default, what happens is, is HR 38 gets shelved and then you know, we didn't get our pro-gun legislation and yeah, we didn't get the anti-gun either, but because they're rolling it all together, it, it's all going to drop on the floor dead one way or the other. So it's, it's basically a way for them to, to not make HR 38 go anywhere. Yep. And that's it, the issue. It's really irritating because we've been following this for quite some time. We've been talking about national reciprocity for eight months, if not longer than that. It's been kind of in the works, but we're at the point now where it's passed committee last week and both of the bills were heard the same day. These were two separate bills, and they still are to this point, but you know, everything is looking like they're gonna be combined into one package and then be sent to the House floor. And like Eric said, you guys really need to contact your reps in the House and really need to tell them they need to separate these bills and they need to leave HR 38, which is national carry reciprocity, the first piece of pro-gun legislation that we may be able to get through in this administration so far, which has been a travesty so far. But the thing is, they want to tack this fix nix thing on. If you guys haven't been following it, what it basically amounts to is telling, you know, the states that they just need to do their job and report proper people to nix. Well, guess what? The folks that are prohibitive persons already are probably going to get guns anyways, whether or not you care, you know, about it or not. It doesn't matter what Nick says, okay? If they're in Nick's, okay, they just can't go to a gun shop and buy a gun. They're gonna find a way to get a gun. Well, the okay? big issue I see with it- Oh, there's a is, huge is issue. That it, it, well, there's many issues, but for one, it's unconstitutional as heck because you're basically being stripped of your due process. So if you do get rolled into the Nick's denial system uh, inadvertently or through some bulk uh, update in their system or through some bulk reporting of, of some set of whatever data they may decide to report, then guess what? You're guilty until proven innocent, and you have to go through this huge process to get you, get it all expunged and get your rights back, which is not how it works. You are basically, you know, you're, you're being deprived of due process. And the other issue of it too is that it uh, gives incentive to these departments to want to report all this stuff because oh, if they don't report it, they don't get their yearly bonus. This is literally in the text it's of the bill. It's literally in the text <laughs> of the bill. So they're basically saying do this or else, which is ba basically they're extorting all these departments by saying oh, well we won't pay you your bonus if you don't do this, or if we audit you and we find that you're not in compliance with this records keeping or this records reporting, that oh, well you just don't get your bonus. So what do you think the VA is going to do? They're going to go well, oh my God. The sky is falling. I don't get my bonus. Well, let me just check, 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 check. Oh, this person's name. Oh, oh, I know this is unconstitutional. I know this isn't allowed. I know it's morally wrong, <laughs> but I, I get my bonus. The thing, I was reading this thing the other day, and it's just killing me. And Tim, Think of the bonuses, man. Tim and David over at Copper Custom Military Arms Channel did a live stream the other day during the hearing, and Eric and I were busy filming, so we caught a little bit of it. But, you know, the, the issue is that there's already been a ton of veterans that have been added in the NICS system erroneously because of PTSD or because they've been deemed unable to handle their financial affairs, stuff like that. And this fix NICS won't fix anything. It'll just add more people to the system yep. already. Yeah, so and what, like it, what it, happens when, when you get older and you're a little bit, you know, uh, let's, let's just say uh, you, you get a little bit uh, up in age a bit and they decide, oh, you're too old to own a firearm. 
you're, you're, you're not competent enough to own a firearm because you're, you're too not old. Un, you're unable to handle your own affairs. You know, and then also... What's next? Well, the Gun Owners of America called this the unpaid parking ticket gun ban. Because, you know, if you have an unpaid parking ticket, you are technically a fugitive from justice if it was in another state and there's a bench warrant out for your arrest because of an unpaid parking ticket. And, and it, it makes, could just be a slip. You, yeah, you, you might have just forgot That something, makes you a you know? prohibited person. And that's yeah. the big issue with this whole fix nix thing. And the, the main issue that I have is this came about after the Southern Springs church shooting a while back. And there's a representative from Texas who introduced the bill, but guess who signed on with it? Diane Feinstein, Schumer, Schumer yeah. and several other high-ranking anti-gunners. So what does that tell you? This bill. Why would these people sign on to it? This bill is a hot potato, guys, and we have to get everybody to drop it. We want HR 38 to go through, but you have to also urge your reps that if 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 uh, 4477 is attached to HR 38, they need to vote nay. They because need to get it, it out of there. Well, they need to get it out of there, but. If it's if it's do or die and it's vote or not and you have to yeah. vote, then if those two bills are together, you have to vote yeah. no because well, you know it's two wrongs don't all make over a again. right. You know a, a, a wrong with a right just cancels it all out. And really, we we can't just say oh well let's compromise uh, for carry reciprocity and we'll just take this little nasty piece of legislation. Why should we have to compromise? That it's just. They're two separate bills. Why should they be together? So, oh, because it's easier that way. But, oh, it's easier. Um, yeah, it's easier for them to, yeah, anyway. I, I really do want reciprocity, but I also don't want another Hughes Amendment, which is basically what this will be if these bills are combined. And yeah. like I said, you know, all the word on the street is that this might happen as early as tomorrow. So this video is going to be up this evening. So you guys really need to get on the horn and blow up these voicemails, faxes, emails, everything like that, and tell your representatives in the House that this bill needs to be a clean bill. H.R. 38 needs to be a clean bill, and they need to separate, you know, 4477 or not even consider putting it with H.R. Yeah. 38. Well, it just That's needs to get thing. voted down like it would if it was on its own anyway. And, and it doesn't have that type of support to get anywhere by, on its own. So they know that by camping these things together, they have a chance of getting that piece of crap through. So guys, please contact your reps. Mm -hmm. Toot the horn. You've got to. Uh, I, I, I'm not trying to spam you guys. Uh, we, we try to kind of spread gripes out a bit, but we thought we put this gripe out because we felt it was very important. Uh, guys, please contact your reps. Many more videos on the way, guys. We're going to let you get back to your day. If you don't do anything else today, guys, please get on the horn and make that happen for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, we need everybody to band together right now. So many more videos on the way. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. See you guys.